Until General Ibrahim Babangida took over the saddle of leadership in Nigeria, wives of Nigerian heads of state were almost invisible. His wife, Miriam Babangida, created and glamorized the office of the First Lady. In giving credence to her office, she started the Better Life for Rural Women program, which was duplicated at state and local government levels. Since her husband left office, subsequent First Ladies have followed her footsteps by setting up pet projects of their own. Why it is easy to understand under the arbitrariness that is the characteristic of a military government it cannot be explained in a constitutional democracy. Pipe projects by former first ladies have also been criticized as conduit pipes through which public funds are wasted, as the projects are usually presented by the initiators as philanthropic gestures for which they are not held accountable. If today we have the offices of the, the, the first ladies created in our acts, in our statutory books, they will be very, very much empowered. They will want to do the work knowing that I have the powers and I'm not doing it just for myself. All over the world, there is no constitutional government that makes provision for the wife of the administrator. The, are, you, are we going to say that the wife of the president will, now, or will also now be standing for election? Tell us what she is going to do so that we will now vote them? No. The debate on whether or not the office of the First Lady should be statutorily recognized in Nigeria continues. Ms. Oladi Banjo, AIT News, Abuja.